Uh, first of all, just um, either of you, it was kind of kind of seemed like a game y'all were shaking off, maybe a little bit of rest. Did it feel like that? Yeah, it did. <laughs> Having seven days off was just, and then coming back just felt a little, a little different. We didn't. We just needed to get our groove back, and right when we got it, we just kept the flow going. Yeah, it was a little. It was a little rusty in the first half. Um, but I feel like in the second half we really came back and we started playing how we were playing back in Florida before break. And so I feel like that's a good look. Um, especially going into Kentucky, I think we'll be right back, ready to go. Miriam, in that second half, you know, whenever y'all started pulling away, you were really getting involved, feeding you down low. I think you had a couple and ones. Just um, how how good is it for you? Like whenever guards are finding you like that, it just makes my job very easy. Just having guards that like get their shots, but also look for me on the inside and just making sure that they give me the ball right when I need it and just finishing plays. <laughs> we haven't talked to you since, uh, you know, you had your buzzer beater at Illinois. Just, I guess, where's the confidence at right now? Um, It's very high, like, going into conference play because that just showed how well we can play as a team and how well we trust each other on and off the ball and just finishing plays and finishing games and just playing as a team. So, Leah, it feels like like 20-point games for you are almost just like they just happen all the time. Uh, I think it was your 10th is what Kylie said. Just, um, you know, what was working for you tonight? Uh, what were you kind of seeing out there to, to lead to this scoring performance? Yeah, um, in the beginning, some of my threes were falling. Um, just being able to get to my spots, and I have teammates that really look for me um, and, get to, and get me easy shots, you know, and then just pushing in transition, scoring in transition, scoring when the defense isn't set up yet. Um, that makes it so much easier. Um, my ability to get to the basket when defenses aren't set up is crazy. It's, you can't stop it. Um, and so just being able to play free, um, that's really what's been working for me. For both of you, how important was it? You obviously you had the seven day stretch off, but now going into conference play, you've mentioned it a couple of times. How important was it to come out here and just kind of get a clean win and and go into Thursday's matchup with Kentucky? Yeah, it's just knocking off the rust. Um so that we don't have the first half that we did against Kentucky, against a conference team. Um, and so having this game, it was able to just get back in our groove off of the seven days that we had, because apparently that's been like one of the longest breaks that we've had. Um, and so, yeah, just knocking off the rest, getting back playing together as a team, getting back, um, filling one another out, um, and then getting ready for conference play. We're excited. We're ready. I don't know what, what Talia said. Just going into conference play, confident, playing hard, and just playing as a team. And then Talia, you obviously you haven't gone through SEC play. How excited are you to get into the conference slate and, and kind of go through that multiple times a week? Yeah, I'm excited. This is what I've been waiting for. Um, being able to play in the best conference, um, that's what I came here to be able to do. Um, and so being able to play against the LSU's, the South Carolinas, the Tennessees, like I'm excited to see where I match up and how I match up against their guard play and then how we match up as a team. And I feel like we have a chance to be really, really good this year in conference. And then, Miriam, you obviously have been through conference play. Going into that now, you're through half of the season. You know, how do you kind of evaluate where you guys are, obviously, knowing the real season kind of starts on Thursday? I think starting conference is like a clean slate and just working on doing the stuff that we've worked on as a team and just perfecting that going into conference and just working hard and just doing the little things that, like, get us to where – get us all the wins that we've had in the past few weeks and just making sure we're ready for the SEC. What's it like having, you know, a sailor who I think was it 19, 19 yeah. rebounds. Like, what's it like having her just, you know, it seems like it's commonplace for her. It makes our job very, very easy. And it's it wasn't talked about a lot, but the Illinois game, she had a huge defensive rebound. And that's how like she uh, gave an outlet pass to Sam. And that's how we um got the like, last second shot. And just it just makes everybody's job easier having somebody in there that could you could trust to rebound all the time and just making sure she has the ball in her hands when she and she fights to get the rebound every time. So yeah, and then, like, especially, like, for me as a guard, um, it makes the guards, like, we don't have to get as many rebounds, ne like, that we have, okay, we don't have to get as many rebounds um, to be able to win games. Like, for example, like, we don't each have to get six, seven rebounds for us to be able to win. Um, We can get four or five, and we'll still be good because she's going to get 20 rebounds a game. And it makes us being able to play in transition a lot easier. Um, She gets rebound, we kick it up the floor, and we're into our offense that much faster and we don't have to dribble it three four extra times to get to half court and then run set so she just makes the game so much easier so much faster um and we really we really need her
All right, give me your best uh, New Year's resolutions. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't really have one yet, but I would say... I got one. I will pick a show on Netflix and actually watch the whole series. Pick a show. Yes. No, <laughs> because because I can never do that. So I will do that. That's my New Year's resolution. That's. I don't know if this is bad or not, but oh, like God. spending less money unnecessarily, because like I just feel like oh I say this and I'm like yeah I'll get it. it doesn't matter and then it's just sitting in my closet and never wearing it. So <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> less spending less money, I would say so. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you, too. Thank you, guys. Right, thank you.